Hi guys. So it's wash day today, so we're gonna check out the state of my hair. Okay, it's not too bad. It's still kind of curly, more wavy than curly, but it's like there. And it's been about a week since I washed my hair, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shampoo my hair with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. This stuff is like the OG, like the goat, the whatever. It's so good for my hair. It, um, like even if I use it without a conditioner, it makes my hair curl and it just works so well. So I'm gonna shampoo and then I'm gonna get back to you guys. Okay, so now that my hair is wet, shampooed, I look like a naked mole rat. I'm gonna apply the Diva Curl, uh, Curl Bond Recoiling Treatment. I think it's supposed to be like Olaplex in that it like repairs the bonds in your hair, but I'm not sure I've never used this before. So this is probably gonna be like a first impressions video kind of, and just like in general what I think of it. So let's go. I'm gonna use about that much for like half of my hair probably. Okay, so my hair is pretty saturated in the mask, and I'm gonna take a clip, like a little alligator clip, and I'm gonna wrap it up so that I can go fold some laundry and send some emails, and just do some stuff while my hair soaks in this. I'm probably gonna leave it in for about half an hour to an hour, just cause I think my hair needs some TLC right now, uh, and then I'll check back in with you guys for my styling routine. Peace. Hi guys, I am back, my hair is freshly washed and detangled. I just detangled using a white tooth comb in the shower while my hair still had deep conditioner in it. And then I rinsed my hair in cold water and now I'm gonna be moving on to styling. So as you can see, my head's in a little, what's it called, microfiber towel. So it's from Diva Curl. It's kind of expensive, but it has the cool thing in the back where you can like wrap it around your head. So I'm gonna unleash the hair, just pull it out. As you can tell, it's a little wavy, a little curly. This is without any product in it at all. No leave-in conditioner, no styling cream, no nothing. So, so my fucking camera died in the middle of me showing off the products I'm gonna use. So I have to film that part again. So first leave-in conditioner I'm gonna be using is the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner. Second one I'm gonna be using is the Kinky Curly Not Today. These two work really well in combination because they have like similar ingredients, like similar, I don't know. They just work together well together. And the way I style them, or like comb them through my hair, is using a Denman brush. Denman brushes are, save your mind is really gross, don't look at it, but they're like so good for clumping curls, they're so good for defining curls, everything is just so nice about these. So I'm going to start by spraying this all over my hair, because this is like a spray leave-in conditioner. And I've been trying to grow my hair out. And I've been trying to leave my, I've been trying to grow my hair out. So this is, has like an ingredient that's similar to biotin and it's really helpful for um, growing your hair out. It's called Pro, Procipil or something like that, it's whatever. And then next I use this, I squeeze a little bit onto my hands. Well, not a little bit, about a quarter sized amount or a little bit more. First, I rake it through my hair, like with my fingers, so that my hair lays kind of straight, which looks really weird. I don't like it, but it's what's helpful for getting the product through my hair. And then I take the Denman brush and I go under. I go in sections. I usually do the bottom section first, and then I do the top section. Comb it out. Then I do my bangs, and then I do the other side. I kind of comb it upwards, that's for volume, and then my bangs. As you can tell, it kind of strains it out and it makes me look a little bit weird, but it, like when you dry your hair, when you put in your gels and your products and you scrunch, it looks really good. So next up, 
I'm going to be putting in my styling green, which is Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. I haven't used this in a really long time, but I really like it. Uh, it gives you like a big fluffy curl without it being too frizzy. So again, I squeeze some onto my hand, about a little bigger than a quarter. I rake it through my hair with my fingers. Don't forget your bangs. Okay, I'm gonna clean my hands. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my Dunman brush. Start from the bottom, pull up, do the top layer, pull up, bangs, And now there's this little trick that I sometimes do. I don't know if I should do it today. Because my hair, like the curl is already starting to form. Like it's already starting to get that like ringlet-y like shape. So sometimes what I do, I'll do, demonstrate on one piece of hair. But I take a piece of hair and I just curl it around my Denman brush. And then I just slide it out. It looks kind of straight, but it eventually forms a ringlet. So now that I have my leave-in and my styling cream in, I'm going to be trying a new gel today, which is the Garnier, or the Garnier, Garnier, I don't know how to say it, Fructy Style Curl Scrunch. It's an uh, extra strong hold, so I'm just going to squeeze this into my hand a fair amount, because I have like wavy, looser curled hair. So I rub it between my hands, flip my hair to one side, and scrunch. You should be able to hear like a wet squishing sound, which I know sounds kind of gross, but it means that the gel is getting into your hair. And you squish and squish, don't forget your bangs, or if you have bangs, just keep squishing. Like that. Go to the other side to promote volume. Okay, so as you can tell, my hair is kind of forming ringlets on both sides. These are a little bit thinner, but that's just because this the hair on this side is thinner than the hair on this side. I don't know why, my hair is just uneven. And on my final step is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. I love this stuff. It's like very 80s mousse, like very like kind of shit your moms would use. Your moms are American, but you just shake it up really, really well. Spray some into your hand. I use a lot. I just in general use a lot of product on my hair, which I know is bad because it kind of promotes buildup, but it should be something like this, like a very fluffy, light, moussey texture, and then again I scrunch. So that's a nice sound. It's a very nice sound. Just keep squishing, squishing, squishing. And this is good for volume and for definition. It's just good for everything, which is really nice. So that's what my hair looks like pre-plop, pre-blow-dry. So now I'm gonna plop my hair. Basically, I'm gonna take the same microfiber towel I used before, I'm gonna flip my head over like this, and I'm gonna put my hair back in. And I'm gonna take this, wrap it around, and I'm gonna leave this, my hair like this, for about five to 10 minutes just so that my curls can get a little bit more defined and that they can be more ringletty and like tighter. I'm gonna come back to you guys once my camera charges. I'm gonna show you my blow drying process, my heat protecting process, my hair spin process, all that stuff. So I'll see. Okay, so this is my hair partially blow dried. I didn't show me actually blow drying my hair because I realized it's kind of boring and I don't really have like a specific rhyme or rhythm to it. All I do is I spray my hair with this Cantu thermal shield, whatever, it's like a hair, hair heat protectant, uh, and then I just kind of blow dry around my head, flip my hair upside down, press it up into the sides. I'd say my hair is about 60% dry right now, I just don't have the patience to dry my hair all the way, so I don't. And then I spray my hair with this We Dad Curl Last Flexible Hold Hairspray. This shit is amazing. It makes my wash and go last for like four days. It makes my hair stay curly for four days, which I didn't think was possible. It's fucking incredible. Because normally, before I use this, my hair would only last two days and it would be curly. But now it lasts four days. So after my hair dries completely, I'm going to spray this 
onto my hair, and then I'm going to show you guys the final result. And this is my hair dry. This is very ringlety, kind of wavy combo of both. I'm just going to shake it out a little bit, get myself some volume, and then I'm going to spray it with my hairspray. Hi guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how I refresh my hair. So right now I have day 3 hair, and as you can tell it's a little bit frizzy and a little bit dry. But I'm going to show you the steps that I take to kind of get rid of that and to define my curls a little bit more. So the first step is going to be spraying it with this water. I use cold water only to get rid of frizz. So I just spray it all over my hair, especially under. And then I just kind of smooth the frizz out. And after that, I take a leave-in conditioner. I make sure it's a spray leave-in conditioner because the um, like cream leave-in conditioners are a bit too thick for this purpose. So I use the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow leave-in conditioner right here. It's not going to focus. That's fine. I spray some in my hand and then like do prayer hands over my hair. Just like pressing it down and making sure I'm getting rid of the frizz on my bangs too. And then the last step is the Kinky Curly Spiral Spritz. It's like a really, really light gel. It's like a liquid gel almost. So I also spray that into my hands, just a little bit, like this much. And then I rub it, and then I scrunch. And as you can tell, my hair is a little wet right now, but I got some better definition in this curl, got some better definition in these curls, and it's much less frizzy than it was before. And then once my hair dries, I'm going to use the Weedad Flexible Hold Curl Spray. It's like a hairspray basically, and I'm just going to spray that all over my hair, and then I will be done.